Google Meet 2023 Best New Features. As the year's end approaches, we're taking a look at some of the functionality that came online this year. Today, we're going to look at Google Meet, which in the last 12 months has received 25 updates. We're going to look at features that are useful to hosts, to admins, to presenters, and to users, and even to just those of us very interested in the technical developments. It's a smorgasbord of features. For your day-to-day -day Meet users, January brought the very fun Meet Reactions. This function provides the user with nine reactions to visually respond to the conversation. The emoji will appear on the left-hand side of the Meet window and on the user's video tile. If your team is a little too emoji happy, Meet owners with host management engaged can simply turn off the function. From April, attendees got a little more control over their personal interface when the function to turn off another's video feed dropped. Choosing this personal customization from the attendees more options menu, users can select don't watch for any colleagues who get a little distracting or to reduce the pressure of being watched for the more nervous amongst our collaborators. A lesser known function, one-to-one -one video calling has been around for a while. This November sees this function roll out for mobile users also. The desktop functionality allows users to click a video icon on the top right-hand side in a one-to-one -one chat. This will immediately start a video call. The call will appear in a pop-up for the recipient where they can decline, answer, or disable their video before answering. The function appears in the same position in one-to-one -one chats on the iOS or Android applications. Rolling out as we speak is the new on-the-go function. This will be invaluable to meet attendees who dial in on their mobile devices. The feature detects movement to ascertain if you are on the move and offers an audio only meet with simplified controls and crucially uses less data. The mode will be available to manually engage from the options menu, but as yet, I have not yet seen the functionality appear on either my Android or iOS devices. So I'm keeping an eye out in the short term. There is some of the top user functions, but how about if I'm a meet host? Well, June saw the introduction of viewer mode, allowing a host to quickly lock down participant controls in larger meetings. From the Meet settings in the Google Calendar event, an event owner can engage host management, which enhances their participant controls. From the Guest tab, they can set a default that will make all attendees viewers, locking down their chat, screen sharing, hand raising and mic and camera use. The owner can then select chosen attendees to have contributor or co-host privileges. Really useful for town halls or briefings in which a subset of the audience is not required to participate. September brought an interesting little update in the form of paired video feeds, a handy function for meetings with dual hosts, dual presenters, or where a speaker and an interpreter may need equal spotlight. From the people menu, the host can select a person to pair with from their more options menu. A toaster appears for the participant to accept or decline, and a paired icon will appear on the tiles. For other viewers, these video tiles will now be linked and they will move together when the view is edited on the user's interface. Since February, an additional option has been available when recording your Meet. Hosts can choose to embed captions into their recordings. The function is super easy to engage as it appears above the record button in the record activity panel. Select from a list of languages and hit record. Over the summer, the access controls got a makeover, making them simpler. From the calendar invite or in meeting from the host controls, set the access to either open, trusted or restricted, including the ability to toggle on or off a waiting room for the host. Also, the admit pop-up appears centrally now in the window above the controls, making it much easier to see and much quicker to access. 
two enhancements came on stream for the question and answer function. Firstly, if you are live streaming through Meet, you can now manage questions in the Q&A function or you can poll attendees. Secondly, if you are managing town hall question sessions or perhaps difficult announcements, the moderation function has been added to the in Meet question and answer. Moderation can be toggled on from the host controls and allows for pre-approval of questions before they become public for upvoting. The user posts as usual, the host will get a notification and has the ability to approve a question. And upon approval, the question is released to all participants to upvote in their Q&A activity panel. For presenters, Meet has smoothed out a lot of the challenges. In 2022, Meet made a big comfort leap for presenters by placing the slide controls right within the Meet window itself. This year, they introduced Co-Present, allowing more than one speaker to be able to control the slides being presented. The presenter, while in presenter mode, can access the options menu and select Add Co-Presenter. Then, from the people list which pops up, select the More menu next to the potential co-presenter. Finally, click Add as a co-presenter. Your colleague can now smoothly take over from you mid-presentation with no Next Slide Please required. January 2023 brought with it the functionality to view speaker notes in the Meet window. Accessed from the More menu, the Show Speaker Note function will pop out a note window visible only to the presenter, allowing for maintained eye contact whilst reading notes. This function can also be used by co-presenters in the same way. However, for a co-presenter to view speaker notes, they must have editor permissions on the presented slide file. Also available from the More menu in the presenter controls is the Quick Share button. This allows presenters to share a link to the presentation in the chat window in Meet. Google will review who needs access and will offer a pop-out to confirm participant access level. This will also allow you to add the file to the calendar invite in the same process, allowing for easier file access post-meeting. There have, of course, been a number of smaller behind the scenes updates that coalesce to improve the overall function of Google Meet for admins and for end users. Administrators now have much better control for Meet hardware. This is available in the admin panel and includes visibility for issue alerts and histories, editing and moving devices at the org unit level and remotely managing device meetings. Custom brand backgrounds are finally here too. Your administrator can configure custom images for users to employ in the change background function in Meet. Even better, these can be configured at org unit level to give a representative company background to the related team members. Admins can also engage or disengage external labels for Meet participants to ensure discretion in multi-stakeholder meetings. This function employs the familiar external icon. Your users will be used to this in Gmail and the icon will appear in the top left hand corner to indicate that an external or unidentified participant has joined a Meet. By clicking the People tab, users can see external users indicated by an external icon on their avatar. The function is currently on by default. Lastly, for the AV Club members amongst us, there have been some updates to enhance the audio and visual experience in Meet. These include increased noise cancellation, a personal favourite for those days when the kids are off school, and increased high definition video across Meet and specifically in live streams. And that folks is just the features that we have time to look at today. If you're still paying for that Zoom subscription since the pandemic, I'm guessing your renewal is coming up in the new year. 
take some time to take a look at Google Workspace and see if you can make your Google Workspace work for you without additional subscriptions. Until next week, see you then.